Hey guys, welcome. The man of the hour is right here, De Haven. Haven Irby, you guys know him. This guy is a central figure in hip hop mythos. You might have heard of him at one point, old friend of Jay Z. But this man has stories for decades. And I'm glad he's here right now. He's going to talk about an important project, The Haven. All these stories on your Instagram, mm -hmm. you're trying to turn them into books, scripts, and a series. Right. But in order to get there, you've created this Kickstarter. Talk about it. Well, the Kickstarter is created because we got actually a script now. Um, we got the script, um, it's sort of like the movie to Reasonable Doubt album that Jay put out um, years ago, one of his first albums. Um, the Kickstarter is actually for us to get funded for the movie, to start shooting the series. We're gonna shoot a web series that's hard, that's gonna be really hot entertainment. Um, and the pages for that's just actually just to get us funded, man. We asked for $3 million because the production is, 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 we want quality film, we want quality actors, we, you know, it's different locations throughout different states. You know what I'm saying? It's a decent script. Um, so yeah, we come in at like $3 million, we need lawyers. You know, this is what this whole Kickstarter is for, and, and we definitely need to be independent. Um, that's the most important part of it, so I could tell the true story, you know what I mean? Um, we had other offers and sat down, I sat down with other people when it comes to funding for the film and I didn't like which direction they wanted to take it in. So this is what Kickstarter is for. And, you know, um, I want you to check out the page to see that I'm credible to do this story. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Um, me and Jay got like a 30 year uh, history friendship. So I know a lot of stuff that people haven't seen. You know, have people who haven't seen him in the teenage years and since public school we've been friends. But this is not about Jay, this is actually about my life. Um, but we share friendship for that long. Um, so I come to Kickstarter for, you know, to get pledges. We got a decent pledge uh, pledges set up where artists and producers can get in online, get in on it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a soundtrack to it. Um, um, it's just a great opening and platform for producers and artists that want to be involved with this project. Um, what else? Um, how important, I want to keep reiterating on how important the independency is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you want something that's authentic. You want something real. Um, what else? We're just trying to get as much as this, our link out there to the masses so we can get funded. Like, this is what I come to Kickstarter for. This is actually what I've been working for for 10 years to get this script done. A lot of people said I was expecting a book first. I did say something about a book really early on. Um, I never really got to finish it because uh, I, I kind of thought Jay, me and Jay would sever ties and it'd be a you know story, good book, a uh, good ending to the story. So, But we still kind of on the out, so you know what I mean? It's, it's okay. Like, so I, I'll do this, this film myself. Um, so I decided to do the film, actually. So I never got to the book, so I got the manuscript now. So some, some, of, these, uh, some of these plots in the script, they're reflective of your own life and some of the things you went through, some with Jay, some just on your own. Because yeah. a lot of people don't know this, but at one point, you were a huge figure in the drug community all over the East Coast. So within there lies a plethora of stories. Yeah, a whole bunch. But what, yeah. what, are, what are some of the stories that you've told on your Instagram that, wow. that, that, re, that people are really interested in? Well, wow, man. Um, one of the b biggest stories was about actually a federal, in case, a federal indictment case that I had um, with the government, and I ended up winning. Not, in, not winning, but ended up getting a case thrown out. Um, and the rest, uh, another story is when uh, I got shot with Jay, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, other stories uh, of just having a good time with girls. Like, all the stories that's posted on this page, on, on this Dehaven 444, all the stories are real, are true. And I just want people to look at them and read them 
And I'm just bringing it, and I just brought it to life. That's all I did, you know what I mean? Brought all the stories to life. I wanted people to know that I'm credible. And not only through what I'm showing them, but if they look through the history of J albums from Reasonable Doubt on and on and on and on, I'm, I'm throughout all of that, you know? Record after record, he mentions my name and this and that, so I'm credible. So, you know, it's just time to shoot, a, shoot the, shoot the uh, series. Uh, we're gonna give you a, 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 great, a great form, a formality of film and, and stuff. So, yeah, that's what Kickstarter is for. So it's crazy, like, you and Jay shared a lot of these stories. You would think that with the rise of the show, uh, Empire, uh, Power, that maybe he would want to jump in and say, hey, I want to start my own series. But you've taken it upon yourself to say, you know what, I think my story is great enough to be told on screen. So with that being said, like, it sounds like this money will be put to good use. It's gonna be making a project of substance. Yeah, it's gonna show you, I think you, when you see this, you can kind of seek up some, uh, pick up some of the angles and, and, and um, lyrics from the album and it, it all matches. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you see these stories or you read these stories, it, it kind of matches the album. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you're getting that on film. Like I said, he, he, I'm not doing nothing, showing nothing that he haven't said. Like I said, if you listen to that album, it's just about putting it to the screen and, and, and people acting in, in real life. With that being said, Dehaven, do you feel like your story will bring closure to a lot of these lyrics that people have been hearing over the years. Because you said Jay mentions you constantly in his music. Yeah. And I've personally seen your page. Thousands of people care about this. Yeah. It, they're, they're like, they, they want to know more. They, they care enough about your story. Do you think it'll bring them closure when you bring this script to life on the screen? It, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you feel like what you're doing uh, matters on the large scale? Like, do you feel like this is uh, historic? I looked at, well, I ain't gonna say notorious because you know I ain't gonna say that was a great film, but I liked it, Compton. That was historic to me because I never knew what role Easy E really played. Yeah, and. I don't know if that is, is correct because that man ain't around to say it was correct. You know what I'm saying? If it was official, authentic, you know what I'm saying? Did you relate a lot to Easy e Did I? <laughs> yeah, and that's why I, it, it kind of forced me to have to do this. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, I don't know, you know, it was a great, I liked the movie. I thought it was historic, but is that real? Is it real? Like, you know, if Easy e was here, would he co-sign it? Or would he be like Suge Knight and be like, nah, that's not my character. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's not what I want. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I want. That's why it would be important to me if Jay and him wanted to be on board. You know what I'm saying? But if not, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make it authentic regardless. You know what I mean? So, yeah, when you say historic, yeah, I, I think it, the movies are being historic because, you know, look where they at. Look where they accomplished and all this. So, I think this is the same. Like, we want to know what role and, and who played and, and how it got to be and, and all of this. Yeah, we're going to connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? I think it's great. Yeah, it's historic. For sure. <laughs> I think some of the things that you see happen, you can understand why it is some of the choices Jay made. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you, you got to be a part of this product. You got to be. Like, this is going to be a great series, and I can like guarantee you that I think is gonna cause a, a, a network bidding war. Hey. You know what I'm saying? This is what we aiming for. We aiming for for the for the moon. That's quite a claim. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. This has been my like this is my destiny. This is my story right here. Right. So, you know, I'm just waiting on the people to help out, people to want it, to be on the same um level I'm on, the energy I'm on, yeah. wanna see it. Yeah, and what's great about your project is the production team that you have working on it, they're not just like guys you hired, because that's usually what people do. They'll be yeah. like, let's get the best camera guy, let's get the best sound people, and they're, they're just there. Sometimes they're part of a union, so they're just like, I'm forced to be here, I just yeah. gotta put up a few lights. But the thing is, the people that you're working with, 
there are people who who care for the project and they've been that, they've been, they've been with you for a while. Yes. And and that's I mean you don't have that on a lot of projects. Yes. So these people they're not just seeing it as like. Um, yeah, this is part of what we do, but they're like, I'm invested yeah, in this. Yeah, because they can see, I mean, it's hard to get people on the same mm -hmm. level and compassion to a story that in trying to get it done. When everybody's on the same page and they know the story, like, it makes casting that much easier. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, you know the characters you're looking for because you're, you're so attached to the project. You know everything. Like, it ain't about the money to me. So it's about actually getting my product out there to get seen. You no, know that's, and that's great. That means, um, you know, when your heart's in a good place, it'll attract more good things. And you say this project is good, so it's just going to bring good vibes. Yeah. So we said it before, like, we're not salesmen, but we got to remind you guys. The Kickstarter is live. Check it out. It has a lot of information there. A lot of the things we've said here are reiterated on that page in the descriptions. Mm -hmm. Just read through it. Like, really ask yourself if you're going to be a part of this. Part of something. Be a part of something. Yeah. And we, we got other ways to fund, uh, other ways you guys can support to help out. Like I said, if, you know, we got pledges from $5 all the way to 10000 And I suggest you artists and producers Y'all got to get on that page and look. This soundtrack is going to be mean. This soundtrack is going to be mean, man. You, you have to be a part of that. Um, so it's like there's something for everybody. Something for maybe everybody. Maybe if you're a bigger music fan, we got, we're going to have some hot you, music. You got to have music to this. Um, another way of support. If you, you, know, if, you don't wanna make a, if you can't make a pledge, you know what I'm saying, just push a button. Pass the link on to someone else. Pass the link on to TMZ or you know any other main network, CBS or Evening. Whatever. I don't care. Pass it on to a bigger to a bigger uh, media, so they can see it, so they can donate. Yeah. Just you know, it's just a push of a button if you can't make a pledge. You know what I'm saying? But let's make this happen, man. I need that donation. I need that uh, pledge. Like I said, you artists, that's gonna get that that slot gonna get full fast. That that um, soundtrack is only twelve slots. That's gonna go fast. I would like, you know, what I'm saying, my Brooklyn peoples to be on board with that. I know it seems like that's a, a a nice piece of money, but it's a huge platform to be on. You know what I'm saying? So, so a million of y'all out there, everybody send one dollar, we good. Yeah. We'll do four of these movies off that. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But drop this some is what Kickstarter is. I'm, I'm so happy that Kickstarter, I wish I'd have known this uh, years ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before I did the YouTube, but I probably wouldn't have done it again because I wasn't, my, I wasn't in a good place then. But I am so focused now. She is ready. This is my baby. This is it right here, man. We were just trying to make history, man. We trying to do numbers, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what counts. You know what I mean? I appreciate y'all yep. time. This is what I want to do. It's here. We can't argue, no man. We can't ask for nothing else. I got a great team. I got everything ready to rock and roll. We got this already scheduled out. This Kickstarter campaign starts today. You know what I'm saying? And we got 30 days to get this money. So we in the grind for 30 days. We can't come up a dollar short or we don't get nothing. So I'm really counting on you guys, man to help out and support. But like I said, it's on. Please get on, uh, send the link. Like I said, if you can't do nothing, just push a button and send the link, man. That's all I'm asking, you yep. know what I mean? Because I really want to see Harvey or somebody on TMZ mention my, mention my project. And then we on from there. Yup, yeah. Hey, even thanks for coming by, man. The people always, they like to hear stuff directly from you, man. They love yeah. your videos and... Uh, Stay with me, man. We're, we're excited to see where this project goes, so guys, Keep following the progress, and we'll keep you guys updated on everything.